Never before in history have there been so many people on Earth as right now. Our numbers have skyrocketed from 1 billion in 1800 to 2.3 billion in 1940, 3.7 billion in 1970, and 7.4 billion in 2016. The world population increased fourfold in the last century, so what can we expect for the next century? And what does population growth mean for our future? Will there be mass migration, overcrowded slums in megacities covering continents, diseases and pollution, chaos and violence over energy, water and food, and a human species focused only on sustaining itself? Will population growth destroy our way of life, or is this prophecy just ungrounded panic? In the 1960s, population growth reached an unprecedented rate, which led to apocalyptic prophecies. The poor would procreate endlessly and overrun the developed world. The legend of overpopulation was born. But it turns out high birth rates and the population explosion are not permanent features of some cultures or countries, but rather part of a four-step process the whole world is going through, the demographic transition. Most developed countries have already made the transition, while other countries are doing it right now. Let's go back to the 18th century, when the entire world, including Europe, was in the first stage of the demographic transition. By today's standards, Europe was worse off than a developing region, suffering from poor sanitation, poor diets and poor medicine. A lot of people were born, but lots of them died just as fast, so the population hardly grew. Women had between four and six children, but only two of them would reach adulthood. Then the Industrial Revolution happened in the UK and brought the greatest change in human living conditions since the Agricultural Revolution. People went from being peasants to workers. Manufactured goods were mass-produced and became widely available. The sciences flourished and advanced transportation, communication and medicine. The role of women in society shifted and created the conditions for their emancipation. Slowly, this economic progress not only formed a middle class, but also raised standards of living and healthcare for the poor working population. The second transition stage started. Better food supplies, hygiene and medicine meant people stopped dying all the time, especially so at a very young age. The result was a population explosion, doubling the UK's population between 1750 and 1850. The main reason families used to have lots of children was that only a few of them were likely to survive. Now that had changed, so the third stage of the transition was set in motion, fewer babies were conceived and population growth slowed down. Eventually, a balance emerged. Fewer people were dying and fewer children were born, so the death rate and birth rate became stable. Britain had reached the fourth stage of the demographic transition. This didn't only happen in the UK. More and more countries went through the four stages. First, many births and many deaths due to bad living conditions. Second, better living conditions leading to fewer deaths and a population explosion. Third, fewer deaths resulting in fewer births and population growth came to an end. But if birth rates have dropped so much, why is the population still growing so fast? Well, the children born in the population explosion of the 70s and 80s are having kids themselves now, leading to a noticeable spike in overall population. But they are having far fewer children on average than their parents. The average today is 2.5. It was 5 40 years ago. So as this generation gets older and fertility declines further, the rate of population growth will keep on slowing. This is true for every country. In the West, we tend to overlook progress in other regions of the world. But actually, most of the world's countries have made it to the fourth stage. Just look at Bangladesh. In 1971, the average woman had seven kids, but 25% of them would die before the age of five. In 2015, the mortality rate was down to 3.8% and women had only 2.2 kids on average. 
this is the rule, not an exception. We're not special, we just had a head start. It took developed countries about 80 years to reduce fertility from more than six children to less than three. Others are catching up fast. Malaysia and South Africa did it in only 34 years. Bangladesh took just 20. Iran managed it in 10 years. All these countries that are catching up didn't have to start from scratch, and the more support they get, the faster they catch up. This is why programs that help lower child mortality or help poor nations develop are so important. No matter what your motivation is, whether you dream of a world where all people live in freedom and wealth, or you just want fewer refugees coming to your country, the simple truth is that it's beneficial to you personally if people on the other side of the globe can live a good life. And we are getting there. The percentage of people living in extreme poverty has never been as low as today. So the future of global population growth is actually not an apocalyptic prophecy at all. It's a promise. Population growth will come to an end. The UN forecasts that the 12th billionth human will never be born at all. And as the development level of the world rises, the number of people with a higher education will increase tenfold. Countries who used to be in need will help advance development instead. More people is going to mean more people able to advance our species. Good afternoon. What is the current population of Barangays and Isidro? Uh, the current population is, I think more or less, four, uh, 14,000 plus. But I can't remember the exact, the, exact, um, uh, the exact population. How is the people here preventing the rapid growth of Barangays and Isidro? Actually, the, uh, we have the Barangay Health, uh, we have the health center. Then they are offering uh, contraceptives. Like pills, the Solibri ran a half free. Pills, then depo, and I think that's all. Some depo and pills. Do people attend seminars and meetings on how to control the population? Attend seminars. Actually, they are they are informed man by our barangay health workers. So if ever. Um, their ch their babies are brought here for an immunization, so they are encouraged to to take uh, pills for breastfeeding. We have also breastfeeding pills available in, at the health center. How many children do families in Barangay San Isidro have? Uh, I think based on uh, survey, mostly most family. I think two or three children, or three jud ang winner. Kano mar majority three children in every family. Have you ever founded a program about controlling rapid growth population? Um, like founded. I'm the secretary. I am not one of the. I I have held a program. Um, maybe ah uh, yeah, conducting seminars. To to, uh, to different poroks. We have poroks man here. Not city of Santo, porok, porok pampang, it's la verde. So the council are yeah, sponsoring seminars. Philem, um, Philem, Kano sa ka nag start o panganak? And pila mo edad ato nga time? 16. 16. Then pila na ka buke mo anak? 6 na rin. 6. Pila yung edad sa eldest? 18. And ang youngest? 4. Kano sa ka naka decide na mag family planning? Ah, edad o kung ako kamayuran. Pila, wait. Nga naman nga kinahanglan mag-family planning. Para di na nga bagyan. Gayos, huwag na kayo yun. Palahan. Kung saan nga klase sa family planning ang inyong gigamit? Dito. Then, sa kat...
ni atan ka og something seminar or sa uh, about anang family planning uh, oh. then on sa man ilang advice about family planning ko an kinahan lang jud ni family planning para dili na kay karon ba nang nagugisod na kayo mao na nga ipakita ni ko on sa klase sa family planning nya mo na ko natilihan ang ang dito kung sa man na ang depo kung an na siya every 3 months ra na siya i-inject pero okay ra man kinahan mo sa kanya kawyo mo ko daot ba kayo sa una na lang siguro Ah. Then sa pila ka dili siya na 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 prevent ay ka nang nahunong sa demo imong kuan kasi gig panganak ana na. Oh, wala na, hindi na ko manak. Hindi na din Ang last kay pila may gap sa imong mga anak. Like Start as eldest pa doon, oh, guys. Um, Ilay age lang. Age 18, 16, 14, dayon 11, niya 8, o kuan 4. Ah, okay.